Section 8.5, Vectors in the Cartesian Plane. We're going to be looking at vectors in the Cartesian Plane, which is, means we're looking at vectors in two-dimensional space. What a vector is, is a mathematical object with a magnitude and for all intents and purposes this is a length and a direction. So vectors actually give us a direction in which we're traveling. Vectors have an initial point, so that is our starting point, and a terminal point, or our ending point. For the notation, we usually name vectors u, v, w and it's written as a bold U. So imagine that this U is bolded. Or we can use the initial and the terminal point. So if our initial point was A and our terminal point was B, we would name this vector AB, and we would do a little, it almost looks like a ray, but the arrow's just on the top. Vectors do have a component form. So let's say that initial point a was x1, y1, and b is x2, y2. Then the component form for your vector, which we can name u, or we can name vector ab, will be, and we use these triangular parentheses things, we say that it is x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. And we will look at an example that's going to make this clearer if it's not already. Finally, our vector has a magnitude or a norm. And we say we're looking at the magnitude of u. And the way we find that is with the Pythagorean theorem. So what we're going to do, we'll say that x2 minus x1 ends up being u1. y2 minus y1 is going to end up being u2. Those are our components of our vector, where u1 is the horizontal distance, and u2 is our vertical distance. Then the way we find the magnitude is the Pythagorean theorem, which is u1 squared plus u2 squared, and we take the square root of that whole thing. And this gives us distance, or length. All right, let's look at an example. You have a magnitude on the screen above. All right, I'm sorry, you have a vector on the screen above. This vector is indeed AB, because we notice the arrow here tells us that B is our terminal point, which means A is our initial point. A is at negative 2, 1, and B is at 5, comma 4. This means we have a horizontal distance of 5 minus negative 2, which is 7. And we have a vertical distance of 4 minus 1, which is 3. Thus, the component form is 7 comma 3. We're going 7 to the right and 3 up. If you were going left, the 7 would have been negative. If you're going down, the 3 would have been negative. So positive indicates right and up. Negative in indicates left and down. All right, finally, we could find the magnitude of this vector. And we'll name this vector u as well. So the magnitude of u is going to be the square root of 7 squared plus 3 squared which equals the square root of 49 plus 9, which, let's add a little bit more space here. So we get the square root of 49 plus 9, so this is the square root of 58. Thus, u has component form 7, 3, and magnitude of root 58. Let's look at another example.